Welcome back, everyone. For those of you who are just tuning in, you are watching the Lady Arcader Super Showcase. My name is Big Scared. I am your host for at least a couple more runs today, and we are benefiting CARE. All you gotta do to know more about that is type exclamation mark CARE or exclamation mark donate in chat. We have a bunch of lovely incentives for you, but in the meantime, we have a very fantastic showcase of Cave Crawler, the Any% percent Run by JPEG. Take it away, Jay. Well, hello, my trainee. Uh, so it seems like we're right on time to start. Uh, just let me get my paperwork together. I have your name written down as um, Big Scared. Is that is that correct? Big Scared? Yes, that's correct. I'm here for my first day of work, and I'm very excited. Fantastic. So we have a lovely little setup for you today. Just to remember, you know, everything that you're about to see as I'm piloting the cave crawler drone, uh, these are all simulations. So I just keep that in mind. This this is a simulation. Um, we're perfectly safe in here. Uh, but without further ado, I'll get us on the road. Just remember, uh, just a little tip from experience. Um, everything is already calibrated to my settings, but remember to use your blinker when merging. So time will begin when I uh, press continue. So that is in three, two, one. Let's train. Okay, so our first objective uh, is going to be to find the missing person. So here at Rockwell Mining Group, what we do is we explore caves with this lovely little drone and we're just gonna keep going on the straight and narrow for a while and I'll explain a little bit more about, you know, what we do. Uh, so we go after, you know, missing miners, missing hikers, anybody that, you know, uh, has experienced the very real event of just walking along and a sinkhole opens up underneath you. Um, that's a very normal thing to have happen, right? Um, we do take care of those. So I'm just going to hang left here uh, and you can see I've got controls to zoom in, zoom out, and then I have a little scanner that you'll see pop up and when it pops up in yellow that means I can scan something but not everything is important to scan you know we're we're all about you know the nitty-gritty here uh, but that is okay oh and getting caught on invisible ledges is part of the job let me just hang a left here uh, but you know some of the really nice things about this job is that you can see a lot of natural architecture like this nice chasm and I'm just gonna zoom in and turn around and see if I can find a missing person oh hey there's something over here oh perfect uh there is our person um he perfectly normal camping yeah this is normal missing person um that was grape juice if you saw something move at the end no you didn't um so again these are just this is all you know like text that our our, our training team added in here to like uh add some flavor you know this this was in your this was in your textbook i don't know if you remember seeing that part but uh it was in there um and you know sometimes it gets a little temperamental these are old vhs tapes but you know working hard or hardly working am i right you're so right uh, is there gonna be a quiz on this uh there is going to be a quiz at the end so we are going to do three simulations so that was our first one and then we'll go to your final exam uh and if you can see that's our little cave crawler in the middle right there isn't he cute so cute i love him so he's i'm so glad we learned how to use the blinkers yeah you can definitely tell that my blinkers are on when i'm turning um that's definitely something that's happening and you can see it um so you can see some uh case in here our objective has changed a little bit we're going to be finding the bodies um that is something that can happen here is that sometimes um just like that that hiker was fine uh but you know sometimes we get to people a little late we are a robot and um you'll you'll um you'll see some things and uh that's that's okay uh because you know if you've if you've seen a body or something and i believe there is one up here um we here at rockwell mining group do care about you very very much and we do have counseling on retainer because as we like to say here at rockwell mining group we care about you a whole lot 
Anyway, so I'm going to go around this turn, and uh, you can see all of these are just natural um, mushroom formations in the walls. Just, just mushrooms. This is all mushrooms. Those are some mushrooms on the left. There's a wheelbarrow full of mushrooms. Um, and then these red things are also just mushroom spores. Mushroom spores. Yeah. That's perfectly normal. Um, a crash is also perfectly normal. Um, that is a thing that happens in caves. Those are falling mushrooms. Uh, there's no need to be alarmed. The you see, this time of year, this is a natural occurrence. I read about this in the textbook. You did. Oh my god, you are such a good learner. I am so proud of you. Um, I did. I took notes. You And those notes will definitely serve you well. Um, because see, we, we, we found we found another another body and um, I understand that sometimes this can be hard and uh, you know, it, some days it may feel like you're, you're barely hanging in there, um, but no need to get down in the dirt. Um, every morning is a clean slate and you'll never take anything for granted. So um, on that note, uh, if you saw those things, those were really fast growing mushrooms. Again, mushrooms. Yeah, I'm just gonna get us really quickly through this information. I don't, I don't know what it says about the harvesting and full maturation and implantation here. That's not important, okay? I'm just mashing right now. Is that, is that, is that clear? Okay. Well, anyway. Uh, so we do have to find the missing team now, but it's okay. I have a little bit of reassurance for you. Um, we're gonna get some reassurance right here. Are you ready? I'm so ready. They're still alive. Yes. Does that make you feel better? That makes me feel so much better, I'm, chat. I'm so glad. They're alive. Um, but in here you can see um, some stalactites on the top, um, or as I like to call them, nature's fingers. Um, also on the bottom, some other tickly mushrooms, which could also be nature's fingers. Um, this is all natural. You, you, you played Minecraft, right? I did. I saw this. Yeah, this is definitely just from, uh, Minecraft. So if you are worried, but here, I know it says missing team. That's just, that's just a bug. We're actually looking for crystals now. See, um, we're scanning crystals. Um, and it says it right there. It's just, it's just a crystal. You found a crystal. Um, this is just like all those other games that have crystals in them. Crystals and mushrooms. Right? Yeah, those, that's absolutely what they are. I'm, 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 I'm glad that you, you agree. Um, and just disregard the, the flying thing on the left. Um, caves have things that fly. That's that's a thing that happens. And I've definitely been doing this for like a really, really long time. Um, and definitely have a lot of experience to say that caves are full of things that fly. I was gonna say that is a weird looking dog. Um, yeah, yeah, that, 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 that does, that crystal kind of does look like a dog. Um, he was he was dog shaped maybe like dog adjacent um maybe uh and don't mind while i execute a three point turn here you could if you wanted to show off throw the entire thing in reverse through this hallway and just kind of back your way out but then you could back into the ravine and even though we do have insurance um uh you'll get put on desk duty if you break too many of the drones and um that's definitely not why i'm here Definitely, I'm I'm like super an expert in this, yeah. Uh, but we're gonna look at the weird shaped dog now. You you ready to look at the weird shaped dog? There he is. Yes, I'm so ready. Oh, what a is cutie! That a That's a crystal dog. Um, a normal occurrence in a cave is a crystal dog. That's that's what. We yeah, call that's them. perfectly normal. Now, chat has also done some studying. And they would like to say that they think that there's some bat activity in this cave. Would you agree? You know what? You're so right. Bats are a thing that live in caves and are definitely a thing that are alive in caves. And so these are bats. There, there's probably bats. 
those things on the floor might be like batworms. Are batworms a thing? You know, we can we can say they are. Trainees and I chat. didn't read that part of the book. Um, does anyone want to give us some hot tips about like batworms? Um, but while we do that, you know, how how are you feeling about this? Are, are are you excited about this job? You know, I think it has a lot of freedom. I think there's opportunity for real growth here. Um, and I think there's some exciting variation in my workday. I'm thrilled. Yeah, yeah. You know, I, I, I think you really hit the nail on the head. You got it like spot on. Uh, personally, I think this job rocks. Anyway, we're done scanning. Um, that was the final crystal. So um, we're going to go ahead and do your exam now. There's going to be a lot of things in here. Um, just, just You did sign your NDA, right? I'm just going to keep hammering this. You, we, don't need to, we don't need to read this. You can look away. This isn't important right now. Um, I know it says some words about 65 years in prison. That's not important right now. We can just... This is definitely in your textbook. Yeah, we signed an NDA. We know not to share this with anyone that is not part of the employee program. And we definitely are not streaming this on the internet. No, and those are Monopoly houses. Monopoly. We play Monopoly here, actually. Okay, so um, the the final exam, you can see the objective is kind of a little, um, a little, a little, uh, the objective might be a little br broken. Um, and no, it's a test. We just need to decipher it and interpret its meaning. That's so true. Um, but you may also notice that things are looking a little, um, a little squishy. Um, this is a little known fact about caves and mushrooms is that uh, everything gets squishy uh, the lower down you go. Um, like you can ignore like the yawning abysses to your left. Um, and then I'm just going to go ahead and hang a right at the, uh, at the intestine here. Uh, you could go to the left, but there's a blockage and it's causing a lot of traffic. So, you know, just hang to the right. You'll skip the traffic and be on your way. And that's part of the benefit of having this job, right? Is that, um, you're not in the regular commute because you're piloting a drone, right? So... I'm just gonna fall down this hole, um, and you know this is this is this is fine. Um, and if this ever worries you, you can just uh, you can just you know maybe maybe don't get so sentimental about it. Um, as they say, uh, igneous bliss. Uh, and here at Rockwell Mining Company, we uh, we just uh, want to let you know that we are in it for the crater good, uh, and that it's all gonna be okay. Um, anyway, uh, you you pass. That is time. Um, Hooray! And, uh, yeah, well, um, I, I, I hope that you, um, enjoyed your training. Uh, are you, are you still going to be coming back on Monday? You know, I'm feeling a little assaulted by all this information, but I'll be there. I, I'll be there with a vest on. I, I appreciate that. And, you know, I, 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 I hope you know that you don't need to, to gravel for this job or anything like that. You absolutely already have it. Um, I'm probably going to submit for uh, extended um, leave of absence. Uh, so I, I may not um, be around, uh, but that's, that's, that's okay. Um, everything is normal. So. Well, this is fine. And if you're not here, where can we find you? Uh, yeah, so <laughs> uh, if you would like to follow me, I am twitch.tv slash uh, JPEG, uh, JPEG underscore EXE. Sorry, I had to turn off my uh, trainer voice for a minute there. Um, yeah, <laughs> twitch.tv slash JPEG underscore EXE. If you would like to find me on Twitter, that is at also JPEG, A-L-S-O-J-A-Y-P-E-G. Um, and you can also find me uh, on the host stand later tonight here. Uh, I will be back in just a little bit. Um, I hope you all enjoyed this. Thank you so much for letting me on Lady Arcaders to show this cursed little game that definitely is not showing a drone crash screen.
right now. This is a delightful little curse, and I'm so <laughs> glad you've spread it here. Uh, thank it's you so, so much for showing us Cave Crawler any percent and things that were definitely mushrooms and definitely rocks. Yeah. And definitely crystals and definitely not bodies. No, no, no bodies. Um, but if there were bodies, that's fine. Um, we have counseling. We do. We have a comprehensive program. We do. And uh, welcome to Rockwell Mining Group. You're hired. Thank you. <laughs> this run might have uh, ended in a very gainful employment, but there is a very different scenario awaiting you when we come back from break. Up next, we have a very special run of Silent Hill 2 by Abby's Corner. So stay tuned. Don't go anywhere. Welcome back, chat. You are watching the Lady Arcaders Super Showcase. I am your host, Big Scared. And before we get into our next run, I just want to remind you all about some fantastic incentives we have going on right now. Right at this moment, we are only... $55 away from unlocking a bonus Kuon phase run during our Kuon run later on in the marathon. Additionally, we have three different dono polls open. Brace yourselves, chat. The first one, you've heard about it, you love it. It's the name your cult option. You might have heard about the relationship or the bat caters. You can definitely influence the outcome if you so choose. There are two other polls though, so if you don't want to put your money towards that, you could choose the ending for our Splatter Master run. Either unlock the good or the bad ending. Alternatively, you can put that money towards our Emote Art Showcase. With a featured character with two options right now, the first one being Lamb, and the second being Judy the Bear Cub from Animal Crossing. Don't forget about that chat. Get those donos rolling, keep them coming. Support care as much as we can this week.